There seems to be a surge of evil energy coming from the Mellow Hills. Your peasants are being drawn towards it. The Rubordian Desert is bristling with evil energy, Dark One. Gods have surely smiled upon us, lowly peons. They have given us a way to escape our dark overlord. It must be a passage. A passage to heaven. Do I get wings? I want wings. Do they have wings? Oh, I hope they have wings. Come on, let's be free from this sheep-killing, pumpkin-smashing overlord. That overlord can grow his own bloody food. I'm going where there's a halo with my name on it. And wings, don't forget the... trying to run away from you, honest. Uh, we weren't trying to run away from you, honest. Those creatures you see are rapes, spirits of the evil dead. Something very powerful must have opened this rift to their world. Still, we can't just have evil ambitions cropping up anywhere they like and threatening your evil domination. <laughs> when one appeared in the minion dung pile, it was quite a shock. But the no, 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 can't have that. You must investigate further, sire. Huh? Huh? I think I prefer your fireballs to this place. 
Oh, get me out of here, Lord. I promise I'll worship you every day. Beautiful, beautiful. I could watch that all day. Oh, it doesn't matter. They all just come back again. I'm sorry we left Spree, Dark One. I was working in my field, Master, then whoosh! Suddenly I'm working down here. Only now, I'm burnt to a crisp every half an hour. Lose! You choose all! For you! For you! I'm sweating like a sheep on market day. Go near the pumpkins, I tell you. They're fearless little varmints. I saw them eat a sheep once. A whole one. Hooves and all. I think one of them's joined my foot. Angry pumpkins. Who's deadly? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa! What are you doing, you little brutes? Don't you threaten me! Oh, okay, 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 okay. All good. Okay. <laughs>
tormented spirit of Melvin, sire. Looks like he's getting all the food he could ever wish for down here. All that flesh wobbling from side to side. Oh, it's almost hypnotic. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> That's the way to end a meal. Oh, there he goes again. Blowing up and reincarnating like that must hurt like <laughs> hell. Ha! But look at him. Melvin just can't seem to stop himself. Browns. Yeah. All this food just lying about. <laughs> <laughs> That wobbly ball of love And here, that is, if you can make use of his fatal bounce of indigestion.
They must be preparing Melvin's eternal feast. Oh, damnation is busy work. Melvin drooling from here. For sheep, sire. I think I can hear Melvin drooling from here. They're gonna eat me. Oh, don't let them eat me, Lord. I'd escape Melvin, but he's down here too. <laughs> and my wife said she could never get me in the kitchen. Gonna cook me! Get me back to my home and I'll, I'll give you something for your little chaps. Yeah, I don't want to joy with my ears full of mint sauce. I don't want to joy with my ears full of mint sauce. This cooking, it's like home, only appetising. Will someone just give me some food? Potato peelings, apple cores, a Brussels sprout even, anything.
It's a mold. This will allow you to create a unique item in your forge, sire. <gasps> Won't that be nice? Choose all! Oh! It's a mold for the Axe of Confusion, my lord! Strike with this weapon, and you have a random chance of spreading a little extra panic and mayhem amongst your enemies! <laughs> He's charging, sire! Think you're fooled.
I'm gonna sneeze. Brown. <laughs> Oh, it's all down my front now. You choose all. Brown.
choose Brown. all. Browns. Melvin fares on an eternal diet of dirt and earthworms. Actually, a, a nice juicy earthworm can be rather yummy. Bringing it back to the tower, Jimblet is already getting nasty flashbacks. Oh, I feel another surge of evil energy, my lord. It's coming from Heaven's Peak. Must be another of those wretched abyss gates. I can feel two more energy surges, my lord. There are more gates. One in... This is your armory, sire, where you can store your armor and weapons. are waiting to be embraced by the flames.
Together, man.
blues!
Lose! For the master! For the overlord! Greens! For you! For you! You choose all! from those heroes is forcing something to the surface, like some kind of separating pustule. I hear it's a new theatrical production about the glories of the elven race. For you. Those roots don't seem to like the light. Oh, I know how they feel. Places, everybody! Elves. My eyes cannot continue to watch this travesty. Roots! And over on Green Haze! Ah, I see we have a special guest in the back. Now, welcome to the Terror of Evernight Forest. I do hope you enjoy the show. Act 1, in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh, brother. How lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. 
Cold and uncaring harlot, eh? The writer of this play doesn't seem to like the Mother Goddess much. Or the elves, for that matter. Mm, I think I'm a fan already. A do, <laughs> in which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. <sighs> now that's entertainment. <laughs> The terror comes to Evernight Forest. Oh, where is it? Where, where's the terror? I want the terror! Oh, what do you mean it's broken? Okay, back to act one again, everyone. It's not like you lot don't need the practice. Oh, shame. Just as it was getting good. Perhaps you should locate this terror of Evernight, sire. Help end things with a bang. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the Evernight forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother God. There's the Abyss Stone, sire. Oberon's roots are covering it. Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. Aye, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two in which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. How oh, can I call this art? I never said that. Terra still broken. Back to Act One. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For, although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of our worship, she alone will listen to our words. And our Act two, in which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Oh, 
lose. Protected by their unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For, although she is a cold and uncaring harlot... Ah, there's the lighting cue. Right, act one again. Protected by their unworthy Brown. deity, the Mother Goddess. Blues! I, my friend, we are. Let us pray Blues. to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of her choose, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, Brown, in which the wolves attack ever night, crushing the oh, elves into the ground Brown. of their precious forest. Browns! Reds! Blue! Browns! Ah, there's the lighting cue! Right, act one again! It's Rolly! That must be the <laughs> terror. Oh, better find a way to reach it, my lord. <laughs> Browns, you choose all. Where those wraiths playing the dwarves get ready, sire. Ah, splendid work. Very moving. You could get me an autograph, could you? Oh. For the master. For you. Get him! 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 Get him!
trees. Browns. in which the dwarves attack ever night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Night Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. Aye, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight Forest. Dwarves! Dwarves! I think that's your cue, Master. Remember, dwarves, I want to feel hate. I want to feel anger. I want to smell the beard on your beards. <laughs> Autographs, please. I must have my rest. Are you the understudies? Live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I know that voice, that condescending tone. Don't worry, it'll come to me, sire. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our truth. 
Precious forest. It appears to be a face mold, Dark Master. Oh. Blue Brown. Still broken. Back to Act One. Act One, in which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the Elvenite forest, protected Ooh. by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Brown. Act One, in which the elven race live peacefully. Deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Two, in which the wolves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Blues! Browns! Browns! Still broken, back to Act One. Reds! You found the Terror Shroud! I think this could be your starry role if you can find a way to fix the thing. I'll create the Mace of Doom, sire. I haven't seen an of doom weapon for years. Each power strike from this will send your enemies flying through the air. <laughs> to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess.
She alone will listen to our woe, our Brown. sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. <sighs> Live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh! I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. Oh. Dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. The audience are waiting, Dark Master. Night Forest! Night Forest!
which the terror comes to Act 3, in which the terror comes to Evernight Forest. to see pointy ears fly! Lose. Ah, the smell of dead actors. The screams of the crowd. Mm, takes me back to my community Browns. Oh. Browns! Red creeps!
Appreciation for the finer points of punishment. Brown. Your actions amuse me. I have plenty more abysses. Why don't you entertain me by trying to conquer those? <laughs> you and your little vermin army. <laughs> you are master of the elven abyss, sire. However, if what he said is true, we have work to do.
Oh, sire, our women went into this gate. Apart from Molly at the inn, that is. Even though those demons have gone, our girls won't come out. They say they're fed up with us. And I want my tea. And my tummy hurts. And my socks are full of holes. Please see if you can talk some sense into them, Dark Lord. Not you, that thing. What was its name again? I forget. Anyway, it opened up this abyss for us so we could get a bit of peace from those creatures of yours. Up in heaven's peak, it was succubus this, succubus that. Why don't you have wings like she's got? And it's all his fault. Now that filthy slug is oozing around and stopping our lackeys cleaning properly. They're useless at anything else. Can't arrange flowers. Can't even cross-stitch a sampler. I'm trying my best, my lady. And this is clearly some new breed of evil, sire. Proceed with You think I could get a slug to eat me? It'd be doing me a favor. They're really Blue. angry. Ugh, I wish I'd not. Ew, that's disgusting. Clean that up at once. You'll find the cleaning machine over there. You need more than a minion to operate that, Master. It's a known fact that paladins remove 99% of all household stains, including demon oh. vomit, rabbit badger phlegm, and slug goo. Brown is I can't get up. I think I'm stuck like this. Thank the gods you're here, Master. We were only having a little fun, but they're so angry with us. Choose all!
greens. a very fitting punishment. You cleaned up his mess, now he can clean up ours. you look at that, Val? He's done it. He's actually done it. Hmm. Perhaps you can be of use elsewhere. Let him through, girls! brighten the place up. Tea on the lawn, a spot of croquet, you know. But that stuff just keeps growing. And we're not mowing it. Play along, Shire. Play along. I know it's undignified, but we must lure this evil out in the open. Have our tea on that. I want my lawn, and I want it now. You're just not trying, are you? Thank <laughs> you. 
and equipped. Looks like he's a keeper, Mav. Could be, could be. Let's Great. see what this dark creature can do about Brown. the parlor. You choose all! Helmet Lord, for that. Now, how can we sit down for a nice bit of embroidery in a place like this? The slugs keep breeding and attracting the rats. I keep poking them with my knitting needles, but they won't go away. One almost feels sorry for them. The rats and slugs, that is. Consider these to be mercy killing, sire. Yeah. That round! I hate their beady little eyes. <laughs> that really will not do. I can't even look at them. Just tell me when they're dead. That really will not do. I can't even look at them. Just tell me when they're dead. Get them! Get them! I can see you've really got the hang of this. But don't think you're coming up here without bringing us a present. Yes, yes, something pretty that smells nice. I think I have a few old eyeballs in my room, Lord. Or I could get Guppy to dig around in the dung pile. Rounds! <laughs> These women are terrifying! They tried to make me wear this little leather outfit, Lord. Ooh. Don't go near them. They've got some moves. Lovely. That what's-his-name thingy beast will be so pleased to see what we've done with his abyss. 
Unless you do something, sire, this place will be spewing out scatter cushions and floral prints. They're really angry. Ugh, I wish I'd never seen a succubus. That's mine. Gentlemanly. You can't make me go back up there to wash his socks. You're messing the place up.
Where's the abyss stone, sire? Better take it quickly before the creature those females mentioned comes back. Was it a creature? Memory like a sheep these days. <laughs> Perhaps it was a plant or... <laughs>
Sovereign's peak of his sire. Now, about those ladies and some insubstantial clothing?
Detect some sentience emanating from that golden Goldo statue. I think our grumpy little friend's spirit may still reside in it. A golden prison! Perhaps it turns damnation with some style. Blue!
for you, for you. doesn't get tired of watching dwarves explode. What happens if you lure him to a bigger piece? <laughs> 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 them out, Shire. Hatred for Goldo was even greater than their lust for gold. 
His incarceration amused me. But perhaps it is only fitting that he is hacked hard by his own people. <laughs> ah. Goldo certainly doesn't like it. Go on! Hit him harder! Hit him harder! Inside Goldo. Better lure a few more angry beings in here to dig that little fellow out. Choose all! Browns! Browns! 
those rapes. I wonder what would happen if you gave those dwarves a bit of liquid refreshment. Even out the odds a bit. Interfere with my games! Rounds.
choose all are a devil to shift. They seem very determined, though. I wonder where they're heading. <laughs>
Fuck a man! 
a little too easy. Taking position. Ah, that will be what we in the evil profession like to call a trap.
from my demons, deities, and the damned messengers yeah, a young minion. Can't quite put a name to it. Seems the more I think about it, the more the memory Blue fades. Brown. Yes, 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 coming back! back. Coming back. Choose all!
Congratulations! You are master of the Golden Abyss, Dark Lord. Entertaining, but you have yet to see my final act. Take a look. Stealing. Oh, that's one of my favorite weapons, that is. Hurt your foes with it, and it heals you. Deliciously evil. <laughs> Browns.
And you're wearing this, they can randomly burst into flames. <laughs> I almost burst into flames once. Actually, let, let's not go there. This is your armory, sire, where you can store your armor and weapons. Welcome to your forge, sire. Yeah. <laughs> 
sire, but it resonates with evil energy. Perhaps the proximity of the other of these stones might coax it to unlock. is greater than anything we've encountered.
and splattered all over an evil abyss. Browns, I keep getting this nagging feeling in the back of my mind, sire. A scab of a memory I just oh. can't... Browns. Follow that path. It looks important. Kings, or if anything starts singing, kill them. It's you, and you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. Please don't set me on fire. I smell terrible. I'm soggy. I want light. Browns. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I want Browns. light. Call this place the Infernal Abyss. <laughs> I really don't like the sound of that. This creature tied me up. He said it was called. Uh, I forgot. I got my side. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I won't light. Carry on, carry on. Don't mind me. This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, I forgot. It's you, and you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. Jew! 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 Let's! It's you, and you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. Ah, that's 
much better. You can see where you're going now. These peasants seem particularly flammable, Master. These light must attract them. That's you! And you brought your army! Oh, I feel so much better now. The creatures! I can hear them in the darkness! Drowns! Dark, isn't it? One of those wraiths put something down my trousers. Great! Crush him! Crush him! Khan is not happy! One of those wraiths put something down my trousers. Oh, it's so dark in here. The creatures! I can hear them in the darkness! Well, I'm on fire. I hope you're happy now. It's you, and you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. Please don't set me on fire. I smell terrible. That's really quite pleasant. You know, tingly. Don't burn me. Burn him. He looks all lovely and flammable. <laughs> You choose all! <laughs> Blitz! I'm soggy! I'm soggy! I want light! Carry on, carry on, don't mind me! They call this place the Infernal Abyss. <laughs> I really don't like the sound of that. This creature tied me up. It said it was called... Uh, I forgot. Jolly fire. I'm soggy. I'm soggy. I won't light. Don't burn me. Burn him. He looks all lovely and flammable. Hey, you remember me? You crushed my house once. Proud, rich, and master. This creature tied me up. He said it was called... Uh, I forgot. It's you, and you brought your army. Oh, I feel so much better now. The creatures! I can hear them in the darkness. <laughs> oh, it's so dark in here. One of those wraiths put something down my trousers. Browns. You! I know you! You took her! You took my little sugar plum! Come here, I'll tear you apart with my teeth. Well, if it isn't our old friend Khan, looks like his anger has literally blown him to pieces. Crowd! 
for you. <laughs> <laughs> Get that thing away from me. Proud. spouse, the mother goddess, found him in the arms of another, she cursed him. Anyone who tries to remember him starts to forget him. That's almost as bad as death for a god. The curse must be weakened the closer you get to his lair. The overeating, the play, those females. He must be trying to claw his way back into the world, making every creature suffer as he does. Must be on a timer, sire. Bloody gods never just have a door knocker and a welcome mat. You've got to be quick with those switches. Fiddling with those switches, oh dark lords, always messing about with things. The thing behind that door is powerful, real wow. powerful. Don't go getting it angry. to go in there for? Stay out here! You 
you get your own chains. Clues! Switches for one door. That's just showing off. Blues. Browns. So what you want to go in there for? For you. Blues. Blues. Browns. You've got to be quick with those switches. Ah, uh, we got something to watch now. Switches for one door. That's just showing off. The gates are open, Master. Time to put a little hurt in on that meddling deity. You choose all. Forgotten sub creature. Once my name was spoken in whispers, it brought dread to this land. Now that petulant goddess wishes my name lost in the mists of time. No more! I will awaken their nightmares, their darkest memories. They will remember me, and they will remember what they feared! Brown. You try living with a goddess!
the true meaning of evil. <laughs>
living with a goddess. <laughs>
seeking to amuse me with your squashy little army.
I have seen evil masters come and go. Exploded. Disintegrated. Immoliated. Even one time eaten by a giant weasel. But I admit, I had a soft spot for this last one. Ah, he may still find a way to escape the infernal abyss. But we may have to find a new master. Well, evil always finds a way.